Hey guys, what's up? Hang on, I, I got it. Thank you for watching. No, no, no. This? Well, fear no more. Thank you for tuning in to another how to. Hot tamale. <laughs> you are in business. Hello and welcome to another edition of How To with me, Landon. Now, you're probably asking yourself, hey, uh, where have where have you been, mister? <laughs> well, funny thing you should ask, because I have been busy with just so many things, you know, just things that you really can't even imagine and uh, things I really don't want to get into. Anyway, I'm here to tell you how you are able to cure your boredom. What I mean by this is if you're sitting around one day, maybe like today, and you're thinking to yourself, hmm, what can I do to cure my boredom? Well, you're in luck because I'm going to tell you. And it's one word, bowling. I am going to teach you how to bowl. And no, I don't mean the thing that you eat cereal out of, you silly. I mean the sport where you throw a big old ball down a lane filled with oil and hit 10 white things. Let's get to it. The first thing you'll need is a good pair of socks. If you're wearing bowling shoes without socks, they're really going to tear your feet up. Trust me, I know. Secondly, make sure you bring a good pair of tennis shoes as well, because if you wear flip-flops up there, how the heck are you going to uh, be able to wear socks? Just think about it. One thing that I always like to bring to the bowling alley whenever I go is my trusty hat. I tell you what, I seem to bowl better whenever I'm wearing a hat. We'll see in just a second. Anyway, I'll see you all there in a snap. And here we are at the lovely bowling alley called Village Bowl. So you're ready to bowl or learn how to? Let's do it. The first thing you'll want to do is you want to get yourself a nice pair of bowling shoes. Look at those bad boys. The second thing you'll want to do is make sure that you put them on. Let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Putting that bad boy down in business. That's it. <laughs> nice. The third thing you'll want to do is make sure you get your bowling ball because how are you going to play the sport without uh, a ball? You may be asking yourself, hey, what's with all of these black dots on the floor? Well, that's places to put your feet. I usually don't use those, but the pros do, so. One important thing you'll need to know for these bowling balls is that they have these three holes, right here, here, and here. These are where your fingers go. And for this one up here, you're gonna wanna use this. I don't wanna put the wrong one up, but you're gonna wanna put that right there. And then put your ring finger inside the second hole and, and your thumb all the way down here. And you pick it. Uh, you're picking up like that. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to hit the lanes. Before I start bowling, I must warn you that I'm pretty darn good. So good that I think that I could correctly predict my score. I think I'm gonna get a 172. Oopsies, I seem to have accidentally left three pins up there. No problem, just use the spare ball and we'll get rid of them. Uh, let's move on. Now I know I've been wasting time and not giving you people what you want, so let's go ahead and get some strikes out of the way. You know what? Let's give you one more. I'm uh, being a little greedy, so uh, third time's a charm. Well, our lesson is over. 
but let's see what my score was. Remember what I said, what I thought I was gonna get? Boom. So I just realized that I really didn't teach you anything, uh, but I hope you, that you enjoyed watching. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did out at the bowling alley. Let's do it again sometime, what do you say? Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video informative. Please stay tuned for another edition of How To with me, Landon.